Prince Andrew attempted to push Prince Charles out of the line of succession following his divorce from Princess Diana and plummet in popularity, it has been claimed. Prince Andrew, 61, tried to position himself as Prince William's regent in order to push Prince Charles out of the line of succession, a royal author has claimed. The Duke of York's actions were reportedly down to the public's distrust in Charles following his affair with Camilla. The List reported, in 1997, Andrew reportedly proposed that he become Prince William's regent should the young boy need one. While the story has never been completely confirmed, in the weeks after Princess Diana's death, the royal family was reportedly concerned about the massive negative blowback they would receive as a result. This concern was especially centered around Prince Charles, whom the public has begun to distrust following revelations of his affair with Camilla Parker Bowles. It was speculated that Charles might opt to not become king upon his mother's death, instead choosing to pass the crown directly to his then-teen son William. As such, many wondered who would rule in the event that William was still a minor at the time of his grandmother's passing. While royal author Nigel Cawthorn told the Daily Beast Queen Elizabeth's third child might have spied an opening for himself during this time. He alleged, Andrew tried to push Charles out of the way during the Diana scandal. As Charles' popularity plummeted, Andrew lobbied the palace to install him as a regent for William. This has created friction between them which persists to this day. It comes as Andrew's status as a member of the royal family is in tatters after the Queen stripped him of his honorary military roles and he gave up his HRH style in a dramatic fallout from his civil sex case. The move is a humiliation for Andrew and comes after the lawsuit against him took a major step forward on Wednesday when a judge threw out the Duke's motion to dismiss the sexual assault case and ruled it can go to trial. Andrew, who was born in HRH, will not use it any official capacity, a royal source said and the Duke has also been stripped of his remaining royal patronages. The move represents the Duke's complete removal from official royal life, and an attempt to distance the monarchy from Andrew, who was once second in line to the throne as the spare to the heir, in the year of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. It comes after more than 150 veterans joined forces to express their outrage, writing to the Queen to demand the Duke's removal from the honorary military positions. Accusing Andrew of bringing the service as he is associated with into disrepute, the 152 former members of the Royal Navy, RAF and Army said that were this any other senior military officer it is inconceivable that he would still be in post. Royal author Penny Juno questioned whether the Queen should have insisted the titles and patronages be returned sooner, I think it was a huge embarrassment that retired serving military personnel were demanding that titles be removed. That just becomes embarrassing and it becomes damaging to the Queen because the Queen is then seen as protecting her son.